returning in person has been very different considering first of all we only go to school real school two days out of the week the other two days we're on zoom and on fridays they call it asynchronous which means our teachers just assign us homework and we have to do them by the due date so we're not even in class on fridays only four days a week it's been very different considering the classes are very small we only have like four to maybe ten kids in the class at a time we have to sit spread out we have to just like we can't touch the same things in my like lab classes we have to like watch a video of someone doing the lab because we can't actually do them ourselves which takes a big toll considering the hands-on portion is very big for a lot of students especially me like being hands-on allows me to learn much better when I can like physically take the measurements I can physically do the things and you can't do that now just because we can't be touching the same things so that is very different and sometimes it's a little concerning considering the kids especially like I'm sure I can speak for a lot of people when we're at home it's much harder to engage ourselves it's much harder when we're watching our computer screen and we're watching our teachers teach as the best they can and it's sad because the teachers are trying the best that they can but they're never getting the same like impact and stuff on the kids because first of all there's only four kids in class and the rest of the kids are online and people don't turn their cameras on so it's very like it's not the same whatsoever but everyone's figuring it out. I think they're really getting like the hang of balancing like the in-person kids with like the online kids, like making people participate, doing engaging things like attendance questions. So at the beginning of the class, they'll like ask us a question and we have to unmute and physically like respond to the question just to like get people engaged. They also do a lot of cold calling, which is not the best, but it keeps you on your toes. So when you're at home, you always got to be prepared with the answer in case you get called on and you have to give an answer for that. So I feel like they're figuring it out. It's starting to work, but it's obviously not ideal. And overall, this year has just taken a toll on me and I'm sure everybody else, considering, first of all, it's our senior year. We missed out on so much already. Like, our prom is not a real prom. It's seniors only. It's just we wish we could have something more. We didn't get like a football season, like I'm a cheerleader, I didn't really get a cheer season, we got two competitions, but we had some issues with COVID and quarantine and that took us out of two weeks of practices and stuff like that, so it's just, everything is just a roller coaster. You don't know what's coming and things are just thrown at you, you are exposed to COVID, you're forced to stay home for two weeks, even though you feel fine, like the school has regulations where if anyone in your class gets it, you have to stay home for two weeks, you can't come to school, you can't participate in sports, even with a negative COVID test. So it's really, it takes a toll on you. And especially when you're used to like seeing all your friends at school, you're used to going to lunch. We don't even have a lunch anymore. Our lunch is after school. So it's not like the same experiences, even though we're actually in school. There's only like 300 kids there and the classes are so small and they're so quiet and the teachers are focused on both us and the people online so it's really like it's takes a damper on you and in my classes i feel like i'm learning some things it's just a lot harder to engage yourself when they're online and when you can't go in and like take the notes in person and they're just showing you like a slideshow of the notes and it's on you to take them like alone in your room same with like the homework, the homework they give, sometimes it gets excessive because they don't have the same amount of class time each week. So they end up assigning our class time work as homework. And it just sometimes it gets a lot and gets overwhelming. And sometimes you come to the test and you have no idea what you're doing because you missed the crucial components because all you're doing is watching a computer screen and you don't get the hands on aspect. You don't really get like the full learning experience because learning is not the same when you're in your room looking at a computer and it's that's all on you like that takes a lot of integrity to just sit there and take the notes and watch the whole presentation that they're giving and stuff like that so I would say in person I definitely learn way better and I learn it in class without having to like go out of my way to figure out an answer online or something like that because I have all my notes my teachers are giving the notes I'm taking the notes in class so it's definitely not the greatest situation and I'm gonna be honest I'm not learning as much as I nearly as much as I would if I were in class but it's the best we can do and we just gotta work through it so